Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. This mini-sode is just gonna go and cream try talk first of all. I'm not gonna bother with Imaro's cave just yet, I don't think. All the way up to the top. Down one step, all the way to the left. Battle, apparently. Well, okay then. That'll give me a time to get my character set up at least. Fire scroll. Who wants to bet this is Strago? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I don't even think I have the mystery egg equipped right now. Not that I suppose it matters for the people who don't know what it does, but... Flames are good. Unless this is a Dante and I'm using rays on him, which I very well might have, I guess, because I... Yeah. I had a feeling because it only hit one enemy, and that's the only battle with one enemy, so... <laughs> By that logic, it's gotta pretty much be a Dante. It's dumb enough to get my cursor all messed up, so... Oh, well, goodbye, you got murdered by Avalanche. So that creates a bit of an issue because I don't know where I am in the menu. Whatever. I'll just YOLO it. The segment's not too long. Or mini-segment, rather. Hello, Tritoch. I'm going to use my patented holding a strat some more. I'm getting to the point where <laughs> I'm actually getting a bit over leveled because this is the last place I'm at, so... But even still, Tritosh kind of sucks and he just blasted him with a ton of, himself with a bunch of ty fire spells, that's not very intelligent of him. But... Who knows, uh, I don't even know how much damage that would do, like I seriously have no idea. Reflecting off of all four characters, it's pretty much just like him casting Fire 3 on himself once, so... It sounded like Rasp on my own characters or something, which is, but that would be weird because... It should be reflecting. So far he hasn't Thorndained him me yet. He wouldn't Thorndain himself, that's for sure. Oh, there we go. That's the only thing he's got that does anything. But Sunbath should hopefully take care of that. Or at least I hope he hadn't thorn aid me yet. I am de I know I'm definitely paying the most attention I've ever paid attention to anything right now. Is that the end? Yeah, I think it's the end. Goodbye, Tritoch. You were definitely not the toughest of bosses, that's for sure. Oh well, he beat Master T. Actually, not even. I'm not even sure that's true. Because at least I had to do things for Master T in the battle. All the way down. Should line me up with the bridge just fine. All the way right. Did another battle on the bridge. Battles on the big bridge all over the place. Another fire scheme down the hatch. I find it funny how I have a tendency to be perfectly okay with spending tons of money on fire schemes or shadow, but when it comes to tinctures, I'm like, oh my gosh, can't use a tincture. That's that's taboo. Well, Mastodon's probably in trouble now. Oh, goodbye. Hold all the buttons. I guess that doesn't tell me anything if I'm holding, if I'm holding right now, does it? One, two, all the way down. But it does if I'm going down. Up and right a whole bunch. I can only really use that trick because I'm so cocky right now that I can do whatever I want. 
pretty much. <laughs> because these enemies can't really touch me. Oh, well, it's another Dante, so I guess I threw in another raise uselessly. Oh, no, wait, never mind. I forgot about Shadow. Never mind, I suppose that race is useful after all. Die, whatever that was. I probably shouldn't run out of those fire schemes, not by the end of this dungeon. I've only got one part left. Oh, well, that's the end of that schmuck. Yeah, nothing really happened. Let's just use my tent here. And call it a day for the moment. So I can go plan out the Umaro part, which probably should follow the other parts in not being significantly difficult, but we'll see. Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Time to finish off Narsh. It's been six mini-segments, so definitely not short. But after that, there's just the brown dragon left before all the areas that were voted for are out of the way. <coughs> and then uh, it's just the end game, the Fanatics Tower and Kefka's Tower, the two towers. It's pretty much Lord of the Rings. I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy VI is a ripoff of Lord of the Rings. There's no denying it left. Submit this to Matt Pat at Game Theory because... Okay, uh... I hear at least one Cerberus. Okay, this is Mog. It's the Cerberus Nastodon combo. Two, three, four... Ah, oh, crud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Raise the Nastodon. And I don't mean the raise where I revive him, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fire three on them both. And let's have Shadow check another fire scroll at them. During tomorrow's portion, I'm gonna save the my fire scrolls a little bit more because I don't have much left, but <coughs> I want to save him for Umaro. Alright, that's the end of him. I've been fighting these encounters for a while now, so not too big a deal at this point. When I get to Umaro's cave, things will change. They won't be like super difficult or anything, but skills, down to Deterra. And not sure what happened there. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. There we go. Hopefully, I didn't swap around weapons or something that could be bad. Especially so early in the segment, too. All the way to the left. That's done, all the way to the top. Oh, it decided to throw another battle at me here. I can't expect to have very long stretches without encounters. Not around this place. <coughs> okay. Well, that went pretty quickly, I guess. Alright, I'm already on skills, so skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. Alright, so I'm running up to the top. Hit the top, take one step right. Same direction as this for tri -touch, but... This time, I'm gonna jump off a cliff instead of fighting an enemy. Substitute one dangerous thing for another. Alright, so here I definitely have to wait for the music to start before I start moving. Otherwise, it'll lag through my movements and that'll throw me off. One... Two, three. One, two, three. Okay. First fight in here. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this is Shadow. He usually comes up first because he's so darn fast. Oh, well, that works for me too. 
wave scroll. This is also... well, what? This is this also player 2, so 1, 2, 3. Gonna just conserve Terra's MP. I don't need her to do too much. Oops. I don't... I don't need Terra to do too much here because... Strago's gonna be doing like all of it. Arrow also starts with A. Bad Breath. Black Omen. And... My characters usually seem to come up in this order. I'll have Mug use Force Nocturne in the hopes of... Uh, doing some extra healing or something like that. Rage probably isn't going to accomplish anything important. This should finish the fight. I'm pretty sure every fight in this area will go down to Wave Scroll, Poison, Black Omen. Mostly just Black Omen, but... <coughs> Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. Up and right a bit. Being careful not to walk into any d undesired holes. Thankfully, the holes aren't really in my way. Not all that much, really. So if I go up and right, I can line myself up with this doorway. If the holes were in my way, that would be pretty bad, because I don't want to walk into one and end up who knows where. That makes it really difficult to recover. Oh yeah, I almost forgot this guy exists. Okay, this is Shadow, which is good to identify because I need to put up Phantom just like for the other guy. Uh, you just defend. Um, you're Mog. You just defend as well, thanks. And so Strago, you're the one who needs to do stuff. Arrow, something else that starts with a bad breath. And now I can pretty much just have everyone sit here for a while until Strago casts bad breath four-ish times. I just want to make absolute sure that it hits, like I did with the other, with Master T earlier. Unfortunately, Strago's slow, so this is more of a pain in the butt. So let's bad breath him again. He'll probably even get to the point where he's teleporting back to the other side of the screen before I finish. Thankfully, there's absolutely no threat in this battle. The most he can do is kill one person with a death counter, and obviously that doesn't bother me too badly. So... Oh. Goodbye. Let's just use Bad Breath one more time. It's not really a big deal, but... Alright, so this time I'll switch my other three characters in the front row. Might as well do this slowly and deliberately, unlike before. Just to make sure that I'm not wasting tons of resources or something. Okay. So, this is Strago, so I want to scroll him back down to the bottom of his magic menu and Osmos him for free stuff. Now, who is this? Obviously I've lost track by now of whether this is Shadow or Terra. That doesn't seem to be telling me anything. Okay, this is Shadow. Now let's get him to attack. And this is Terra. Let's get her to attack. And... What was that other noise? I swear I heard something that shouldn't have been in there. Oh wait, that was the Omega weapon. I'm not used to hearing that, because I don't usually attack with it. <laughs> oh, whoops, I just osmosed him again. That's a total waste of time, probably, but... Well, I was gonna raise him, because... Uh... Strago can do more damage with raids than my other characters can do with the other things, and that's replete. And it's possible to, like, replace my MP that from raids, too, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So yeah, let's have, raise, let's have Strago hit it with raids 
three-ish times and then use Osmos again. <coughs> That's like 6,000 damage, so it does a lot. Wind Slash doesn't really help me out at all there, but... I don't think it hurts me too badly either, in terms of damage. Since I was a little bit off there with, uh... Using Strago's Rays the first time around, I'm gonna Osmos right now and see if it works out. He should already be on Osmos, right? Because... That's what he was on earlier, and I don't think I've moved it. Mog also got a couple Pearl procs in there, too. I'll probably end up finishing him with Strago's Rays, because odds are that'll happen. Just because Strago's doing the most damage here, let's be honest. I don't really care about beating this guy down fast when he can't touch me. Alright, so the next character up should be Strago, I think. Okay, I was wrong, it's Mog. And now let's continue to raise him, probably for the last time. This next race will probably finish him off. Or, that will. Apparently. Goodbye, I got your thing that I probably don't need, but... <coughs> Alright, so... I don't think anyone needs healing or anything. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. It's not like he had any means of doing damage all the way to the right. Up one step, into the doorway. Now I just need to fall. Yay! This is actually shorter than taking the other route. And easier too, for that matter, I think. Although I have to count steps a bit here. One, two, three, Four. One, two, three. All the way up to the top. That's a better that's a pretty decent place to get a battle. I was lucky not to get one when I was counting steps. Alright. Oh whoops, I'm being an idiot. Good thing I still have my vanish on. Well this has gotta be Shadow. Uh this has gotta be Terra. Um, she's still on poison because I didn't have anything to switch her off of there. This is probably Strago. Yep, it's definitely Strago. One, two, three. And this is Mog. I'm not going to... I'm going to have him use something that will likely attack, like, uh... Snowman Jazz, I guess? Uh, just because... Uh, just because I don't want to remove my Vanish right now, it can be kind of helpful. Either way, Strago should take care of this fight here and now. Goodbye. That was somewhat of a non-event. They didn't use any attacks that could remove my Vanish, like Rasp, so... Uh, apparently I got another one right away. Battles can come so quickly here. Both of you two are doing the same thing, so... Actually, I think I can just hold A right now, because I'm not doing anything weird. Ice Rabbit can probably come up with Snowman Jazz, I have no idea how calm it is. Surge, yay, I'll take it. So I think that's pretty decent. <laughs> I don't really know. It's hard to estimate how a Surge in one game compares to Surge in another. Especially since Brave New World modified pretty much everything, so... Well, that's the end of that one. Still haven't pierced my Vanish, so let's just keep walking. If they don't even pierce my Vanish by the time I get to tomorrow, that might be wildly helpful. But considering I'm probably going to be casting Shield right away, it's probably not going to be a big deal. Alright, down one step, all the way to the left. Down one step, all the way to the left. Pretty sure a couple of these times I don't go very far, but... 
I just keep worming my way down like this, I don't have to memorize anything more complicated. Okay, I'm walking here, so I probably w still need to keep going a few more steps. Um, whole day. That's all I need to do right now. Hopefully they don't pierce my vanish, hopefully my luck streak continues. Still missing. At least this way I don't have to waste any of Terra's MP or anything healing. Whatever that was, it didn't die. Most of the time, I, I'm pretty sure I always need Strago to fill in the blanks and murder whatever's left with that Black Omen. It's not enough on its own to kill everything in here, but it's enough on its own to kill a lot of the things in here, and when it doesn't kill, a water skein I think is enough to push everything else over the top. Hello, x -Ether. I'm glad to have another one of you, because you were really useful during the Atma Weapon fight. Whee! Okay. One, two, three, four. Alright, here more than anywhere is probably where I don't want to get a lot of battles. I want to inch my way forward most of the time, because I can very easily unalign myself from the chest if I take the wrong a step in the wrong direction after a battle here. Alright, here's the part where I have to just go straight left, so battle would be nice, but apparently I didn't get one, so... On the other hand, I'm making more distance, so that's a plus. Alright, for a couple steps I can be careless. But after that, I have to start being careful again. Okay. Right, and up now. Alright, I just took a step right, so next I have to take a step up. Continue holding A. Continue just hoping the enemies don't hit, go through my vanish. They haven't been very successful. Which is surprising, because on every test run, it was removed from everyone almost immediately by Rasp or, or something like that. Oh, well, that was effective. Apparently. So this must be uh, one of those uh, double Scarab guys. Oh wow, I don't even think I needed Black Omen there. Didn't expect that to be possible ever, but I'll take it. Alright, I can probably be a little bit less cautious now, but I still gotta keep going a little bit farther because I need to make it to the top right of this thing. All the way to the right. One, two, three. All the way to the right again. This part's really awkward. If I tried to just go right and up back there, I'd... Unfortunately, there's a left and right path on the bridge for no reason whatsoever. So I'd walk straight down that. Up. Right. Up. Right. Okay. Now if everything's gone right... It almost worries me a bit because... That bridge is long and battles come very quickly here, so I'm surprised that I didn't hit anything. All the way to the left. That doesn't tell me anything, because it's one step after... They are still not hitting me with anything. This is pretty crazy. At least it removes any uh, chance of uh, me being imped or something awkward like that. As much as the damage probably doesn't matter. Wow, did the exact same thing happen as last time? Because that would be pretty darn cool. This is going to help Strago out a bit during the Umaro fight, probably, because... You'll be able to spam rays till the cows come home. Right one step. All the way up to the top. There's a dummy switch over here that obviously I don't want to pull. I gotta go to the switch at the back. Thankfully this room is easy to navigate. Right? So I don't mind the extra distance on it here. All the way down. Just 
just continue with whatever crud I've been doing. Because apparently it's been working. <laughs> Wow, is it another one of these fights? Because that would be really nice. I'm not even sure how this is happening, because <laughs> this is ridiculous, but... A and every time Magas use Snowball, too, it's like... Right now, until I hit the switch. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna enter and exit the menu just to make absolute sure. Okay. One, two, one, two. Okay, let's... Because I'm a little bit paranoid, I should probably double check. Phoenix down. Oh, well, this is dumb at, at any rate, but... Make sure nobody was put on any nasty status effects before anything happened. Make sure everyone's definitely at full HP. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. Oh, apparently someone had taken damage. I must have missed it somehow. Or maybe they took damage before the Tonberry. That would... No, but I healed before the Tonberry. Yeah, I think the only ex reasonable explanation is that I just missed it. Uh, I need to go a little farther? There we go. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see. There's only one step to take after this fight, so. If I beat him, well, that's the end of the segment. Hopefully, things work out alright. I'm fairly hopeful they will, but some bad circumstances can definitely shoot me in the foot here. Okay, this is Shadow's Throw menu. Just want to make absolute sure that I'm doing what I want to do. Region on Mog. Wait, what am I doing? This is Strago. Scroll down to the bottom and throw on some shield. So that's a useful thing to have in this fight. Mog, on the other hand. You can have Earth Blues. And Terra, you can get off that lousy poison spell. We're not doing any half measures here. You're gonna be fire threeing all the way. Region on Strago. Fire three, yeah, look at that damage. It's not as high as if she was on Morph, but I don't feel like morphing her in this fight. It seems like a bad plan. Um so now that you're done shielding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's probably got enough MP to spam raise for a while. I don't even think I need to Osmos right now. Region. And I want Terra next. Oh, that's not good. He's alive, though. That's good. Maybe I should throw out a Holy Wind. That's six down, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. If I'm wrong, I'm wasting its turn, but... Thankfully, Mog's a complete tank in this fight. He can barely be harm harmed at all by Umaro, so he could almost solo this by himself if he wants to. Okay, so is this Shadow or Terra? I think this is Terra. Let's... I have to double check, though, now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh shoot, that was poison. I'm being an idiot. Is Shadow dead? Because I haven't heard him in a while. Let's revive. I'd prefer to have Shadow around, and the first phase of the fight isn't too bad, so I feel like I can be cautious here. Once the second phase starts, I just want to blast him. Okay. One, two, three, because that can't be Shadow, if I was right earlier. Shadow must have been knocked down by physical attacks, I don't remember hearing a, uh... Ooh, nasty. 
You know what? I'll just have Shadow throw another region at Terra. Or maybe that was a waste of time. <laughs> Raise again? Oh, shoot. He was on Holy Wind, wasn't he? This... Uh, what? I think I'm making this more complicated than it has to be and shooting me in the foot. Okay, this is Terra. I think Strago might be dead now. Unfortunately, I don't know where Arise is, so I can't use that. Unless I get lucky. Cure... Cure 3 Arise, is it? This isn't going super well, because people are dying more than in my test runs, and that's not good. I don't want to knock him into the second phase right now. Let's wait a moment. Okay, maybe I messed this up after all. Let's just fire scroll him. Yeah, Strago's still alive. I'm just being a moron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not sure what I messed up there exactly, but... Wait, what's going on now? Oh, I'm in the item menu somehow? Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would explain where my weird mistakes are coming from. Just keep going. If I'm in decent condition right now, I should be able to rush him towards the end of the fight, so I think I might just start to bum rush him now. Oh, shoot. Except I forgot to take Terra off of uh, Arise, so I probably just threw away more MP with her. This is being pretty dumb. Oh wow, Terra actually did manage to beat Shadow to the punch there. I think. Yeah, she did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is not going smoothly at all because I haven't practiced this enough, but... Oh, that's not good. Takedown's pretty nasty, so... Ow, she got hit too. Ah, not another one! Stop hitting everybody! Terra set of MP because I blew it all on a rise. That was dumb. Let's just use poison. Because I wasn't expecting the battle to go so long that I needed her to start using other things. Mog should hopefully cover whatever slack I need, because it's pretty crazy right now. Alright. This is probably Terra, and I think Strago's dead, so let Terra's useless right now, so let's just revive Strago and see where it goes. Probably won't amount to anything, but at least I can tell Strago apart from Terra easier than Shadow. Then again, Shadow might be able to survive with his evasion, so... Alright, so we've got Strago again. He did the unthinkable and actually managed to live a turn through Maro's physicals here. If I had just stuck to the plan and stopped doing weird things like trying to revive Strago and just blasted him with Fire 3, this fight would probably be over already. Okay, so this is, uh, Shadow. Well, I don't need your turn or the Phoenix down, so let's revive Strago, regardless of whether he's dead or not. Hooray! Yeah, he's not actually dead, but might as well. <laughs> Yeah, Strago... I mean, Terra wasted her time there. 
Well, Shadow is certainly dead. It's annoying though, because I hear that as a healing move, so I, I kind of like almost disregard it in my head. Blizzard? Yeah, there we go. Piece of cake. Even with all the uh, haphazardness of that attempt, I don't think he was even close to winning. Mog can almost solo that guy on his own to begin with, so even if the other uh, three are being busy being the three stooges, it doesn't make a difference in the long run, almost. <laughs> Take one step to the right. Just gonna trust there that I wasn't gonna run into a battle and get myself killed very idiotically somehow. So let's keep going until... Hooray, I successfully named Umaro this time, and the BFLOG, that blew up in my face somehow. And he ended up being named Umakin. Or at least that's how I pronounce it in my head. U-M-A-Q-N isn't exactly something that you'd pronounce in a normal everyday speech, so... <coughs> Hopefully I didn't waste any good items, because other than that, the segment was pretty flawless. Well, except that and the derping around, but that's not important. Dried meat, Phoenix down, Remedy, Revivify... Wait, Tent. Doesn't matter, though. Goodbye. And now I'm back on the overworld. So, 30 minutes. Actually somewhat lengthy, but I don't really care. It's pretty much the last thing before Fanatics Tower, so whatever. See you next time.